Good. In 2019, All right, I want you to see this. This is the membrane on the ribs. See, you can see the difference in the way it looks. And I want you to see here how easy it can be sometimes to pull that membrane off and get it good. See how that membrane just came right off? No membrane? Membrane. You want to take this membrane off when you cook ribs. So what you do is you come in here. And I just go with my fork like that. That's not a fork. I mean my uh, my butter knife. Sorry. And then I'll just take a paper towel. I'm gonna try to keep it together. And then it just comes right off. Boom, remember enough. It's really that easy. Hey guys, Patriot Barbecue coming at you on this beautiful Sunday morning. And we're gonna do some ribs today. As usual, we put down some mustard for a binder. This is the seasonings that we're gonna use. And this has been become one of my favorites. Uh, Boar's Night Out white lining with double garlic butter. And then that's gonna be a base coat on both ribs. And then on one rib, I'm using Mo Quezon's Competition Rib Rub. And on the other one, I'm gonna use Honey Hog Barbecue Meat Church Barbecue Rub. So I take my spoon and rub that in. Like so. season one rib mm. okay Quezon's competition rib rub on this one. And you'll be able to see the difference in color. Uh, Mo Mo's is a it's got it's a real nice flavor too, flavor profile. Um it's got a little bit of spice to it. it it's a real good, it's a real good rub. that you just really want that see that it's already sweating isn't that beautiful all right so now what we're gonna do twist that over I'm not gonna trim these I'm just gonna cook them just like they are Got some pretty meat color right there, isn't that nice? I guess you could you could trim some of this fat off here if you want. I'm not gonna worry about it, it's not too hard.
All right, this one, should we go, Emily, should we go competition rib rub or should we go honey, honey hog barbecue um, on that one? Well, first we're gonna put our base coat down. Go ahead and think about it. Tell me what you think on this one. What you think, Emmy? Rib rub. Competition rib rub on this one? Okay. Put some binder down. Mm -hmm. Ribs are so easy to make. They're so delicious when done right. It's restaurant quality barbecue that just can't be beat if you learn how to do it. So it's worth learning how to do it and it's really easy. Put your bind, you peel your membrane off. You put your binders down. Dry rubs. Smoke. It's really not that hard. We're going this one on this one here, All right? See the difference in color. that in. There's nothing wrong with reapplying seasoning if you need to. All right. I'm going to reapply just a tiny bit of seasoning to that here. Like that. All right. Those are done and good to go. We're getting the smoker up to temp. And we'll rock and roll. Okay. So I've got some wood smoking or some wood soaking here. Okay, it's hickory chunks. And I'm um, soaking them in some water for a little bit just to kind of help them smolder and smoke and last a little longer. Um, and then we've got the meat inside. So I wanted to show you guys this. I've already cleaned it. Um, but you get you get these little black it looks like you, you think it's the paint peeling it's not see that right there it's not paint peeling so i use a tin foil and i just scrub it because i don't want that stuff obviously falling on my food so once the chamber's warmed up a little bit you can just go ahead and clean your grill clean your grates a little bit And I'll have to go in there and do a, a deep clean here soon because um, it's, it's getting to that point. But this I do before every smoke. So I don't want any of that junk on my meat. All right, and then we'll go ahead and take two of these chunks. Set them here, just like that. And that's it. We're gonna get the meat on here shortly. All right, so the smoker is getting ready. It's getting up, uh, brought up the temp right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple of jalapeno poppers. I was gonna put some deer meat in, um, but I forgot to thaw it last night. And so that'll be for a later video. I harvested a beautiful buck and a doe, and um, I'm going to utilize some of it today, but we'll do it another time. So, what we're going to do 
is we're going to just scrape out everything that's on the inside here. Okay, you leave these seeds in, it's going to be very, very, very spicy. So I like them like this with no seeds. It's really up to you, it's personal preference. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. And I am going to take this, this is jalapeno flavored bacon. I'm gonna lay it inside like that. I'm gonna take this bacon like that and I'm gonna lay it inside there. And then And I'm going to take this, just like so, I'm going to lay that down in there, just like that, okay? And then, what I'm going to do is take a whole piece of bacon, move that aside. I'm gonna wrap it. all of these and then we'll go ahead and get this meat on the smoker clean up a little bit all right so you can see that these uh, ribs have sweated pretty good these things are ready to go on the smoker now so we're just gonna take them lay them down just like that let's go ahead and add these let's go ahead and add these on so I just put a little bit of extra seasoning on them just a touch and I just put them right in here just like that all right So, what we're going to do, come on in here lately, we're going to go ahead and start painting these with barbecue sauce. Okay. Once we get, I just gave my wood and stuff a nice mix get that painted on well flip it like that flip it so flip it real good liberally like so and then what we'll do is we'll just reposition them this is gonna help them just be I mean next level I mean if you didn't do this part yeah they'd be good but putting them some sauce on them and letting that sauce tack up it's gonna make them next level it's just gonna make them next level so all right so we're gonna do some these smoked bacon wrapped smoked scallops as well so I'm just gonna take a piece of bacon take a piece of scallop that I've marinated lightly just like that okay 
I'm going to take a scallop. I don't like to use toothpicks to hold my stuff together. You can. It's not the end of the world either way. Okay. So I'll get I'll get all these done and we'll check back in. But what I did was I took some jalapeno, some cilantro, some garlic, and some butter. Sauteed that up in a skillet and marinated these for about 30 minutes in the fridge before I started to go to town with them. So we'll get this all squared away and then we'll check back in with you guys. So here's what we've got. We've got some bacon, uh, some scallops wrapped in bacon with a little bit of uh, love that I made up for them. And here we go. So what we've got going on here Those are done. So we're gonna sop them out. Okay. So these puppies are good to go. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put these in. Now I didn't use toothpicks so I'm gonna to have to be a little bit careful how I lay these out can you see what we're doing these are gonna be good I'm hoping okay this one I'm gonna try just by itself and see how that tastes all right so we've got tin foil laid down two layers brown sugar, butter, and honey. And we've got our ribs here ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and simply grab them, flip them down like that. I'm gonna fold that in. Fold, get this here. fold that in. Then we'll bring this over. Just like that. There's one. And this one. Do the same thing. We'll grab this rib here. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Whew, look at those little meat sickles. See that? <laughs> Get this wood out of here. Hold it in. Hold it in. Just want to do this nice and tight. That's all she wrote, folks. And then we've got our scallops here. Take a look at these scallops. See how they're looking? Looking good. I just threw a little bit more charcoal down. <laughs> Throw a chunk of wood or two in here. Boom. Boom. Good to go. All righty. Patriot Barbecue ribs are done. Come on in, babe. Take a look. See what we're gonna have for din dinner 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 looking good tonight. Ain't that dinner looking good? <laughs> you get after it. I didn't want to put my barbecue gloves on because honestly, the ones that I have I don't like. So if you guys know of any good barbecue gloves that are easy to get on and off, they're comfortable, they work great. Let me know down in the comments, please. All right. I figured we'd just make it work like this. rest for a little bit we'll let these rest I'm gonna try not to eat in here right now <laughs> let them rest a little bit and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll do a little taste test maybe we'll pop on and do a little video 
of a taste test. But um, I can assure you they're going to be good. So I um, hope you guys had a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.